Hi everyone, Tonya Reeves, Australia Psychic Cowgirl, coming at you from Country Victoria, Australia. It's around 1.30 in the afternoon here. I think it's around 10.30 over in American time, somewhere in the country. And um, yeah, I think with England, it's like 3.30 in the morning. So I don't know that we'll be getting many people getting up that early, but you never know. So anyway, I hope you've all had a magical week. It's Halloween. I take it over there. We've had Halloween yesterday. So everyone's sort of trick or treating or doing some, you know, a little bit of celebration, which is pretty cute and pretty cool to see the kids running around and getting trick or treat. So a lot of people go to much great effort for it. And it's, it's great to see. Great to see everyone having a sense of fun. Anyway, this week, what are we going to talk about? It's been quite funny because I had a few different ideas and I was like swapping and changing and, you know, spirit always gives me to to what they're going to um, bring forward for me to share. So, you know, no matter how much I practice sometimes, we often, you know, can get, um, uh, you know, I can often get a last minute change of plan. So anyway, um, this week for me, I've been getting my podcast um, focus has been a little bit sharper, ready to get them on board. I have completed a few and I will be sharing those on my page, Australia Psychic Cowgirl. And in that, I'm going to give some tips and, and ideas on how you can connect to those in spirit and how you can develop your psychic muscle. Because I like to, to always remind everyone that this isn't just a gift that's um, that's given to a few chosen people to do. We all have the gift to be able to connect with those that are past and to also tune into that psychic side that we all have. So it's again, and that's my reminder is it's like going to the gym. If you practice something enough, it becomes a you know a strength, and that's the same with tuning into your psychic side. It's just developing it. It's having fun with it. It's you know, enabling you to then be able to make decisions based on that strong gut feeling that you have and trusting it. Because as we all know, we all have that gut feeling. You know, people come to me and say, I can't make a decision. I can't choose this. I'm not sure what which direction. And quite often with a reading, you know, we're there to give guidance. But I always say you certainly can do that for yourself. So don't ever feel you need to put the responsibility of making decisions, A, into somebody else's hand because you ultimately have the best feel on where you want to be and also what feels right for you. So, you know, nobody else can can give you that. You, you need to work on that. And that's what I often say with my readings is I'll give you the guide um, and I'll, I will, you know, certainly um, give you information, but it's up to you to really implement that and to resonate with what's being said which most of the time is what happens so when we when you come for a reading you will get resonance with what um you know the the reader is saying you will often get that aha moment where you go yeah you know I got the signs last week um oh yeah I thought of that but I put it in the back of my head um we all get it so I like to be not only the messenger but from spirit to to share that with you, but I also want to be the encourager to say don't feel that you've always got to turn to somebody to get uh, the to get the answers or, or don't you know don't underestimate the power of your own ability to, to nut things out and to also uh, look for signs and be confident in receiving them. And that's what my um, pub that a podcast will be all about is encouraging you to utilise that muscle and giving you exercises to do so you can be confident that when you tune into your gut feeling or your inner guide, you know, we all have different different names that we call, uh, you know, that, that higher sense of higher purpose. It might be God, it might be whoever, but you, you're always well supported. So I really like to remind everyone that while well supported, you're not on your own. By all means, go and see a psychic or a medium or a healer or wherever you feel drawn to if you get a bit stuck because it certainly helps to have somebody confirm what you're thinking. But you will know and you will feel in alignment when you go and um, get guidance with somebody that's on the money for resonating with, you know, how, how you feel in life and where you want to be. 
So follow your path and be, you know, be moving forward. We're coming towards the end of the year. This is a one year, so it's time to really step up. And certainly those that are stepping up are finding some really amazing opportunities. And, uh, you know, I know myself, it's like, wow, things are just coming out of the woodwork. And it's not just me, it's for, for many others as well. So look for the signs, say yes to the opportunities and know that, that things are moving fast, but don't fear that. And I'm, I feel like I'm saying it over and over, and I'll probably say it today in amongst my two reads, that sometimes you need to jump and think about it later. You know, sometimes we overthink things. So if you're sitting on the fence, this year's the time to jump. And trust me, the universe will provide. So there we go. That's my insight for today. Okay, my first reader is Jessica in Sandston, Virginia, USA. Jessica, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I hope we have a good connection. It's a little bit windy here today, but um, I can hear you pretty clearly. So hopefully you can hear me too. I can. Awesome. All right, would you like me to tune in for you, Jess, or did you have a, a question for me? I want you to tune in. Okay, beautiful. All right, you've got, wow, um, you've, you, <laughs> I'm laughing because you've got, you've got family around you in spirit, I have to say, and I want to say direct family. So is your, let me see who we've got through, your mum's still here, but your dad's yes. passed? Yes. Yes. Okay. Because, yeah, because I'm showing there's him. And there's also, where does the big family connection, is that his family where there's a few of them and that have passed over? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because there's a few of them there. Um, first thing I want to say is just going back to what I spoke of before is your psychic um, channel is, is pretty amazing. So do you utilize that a lot? Yes. Yes, because it's like they're going, you're very powerful with it, I have to say. Yeah. Yes. So have you stepped in, because it's like he's showing me, all right. Now, I feel like your father, is it, there was a spiritual aspect to him, but maybe he didn't necessarily show it fully in this lifetime, but he's acknowledging it now being in spirit, saying he's there to support you. And there's an element of him channeling things to you. But I feel like you will understand what I'm saying. Yes. Yes, because he's like he's showing me. And he has a lot of fun with that, I have to say. So it's like he's excited that he's actually being able to be one of your messages that comes through and gives you clear information. Yes. Yes, cool. So but he's also telling me there's something you're not quite stepping into. So are you doing this part time? Because it's I feel like there's a um, the spiritual side of things you're dipping your toe in, but you're not fully in there yet. Yeah, yeah. So it's like he's he's. Uh, I want to say like I don't know if it's something that he did in life, but he's like shaking his head, like "Come on, I'm ready." And it's like he's also referring to you being ready. Yeah. Yes. So a bit like I said earlier, it's now's the time to do that. It's like. And, and I feel like there's opportunities coming your way that you might be sitting on the fence about or you might be thinking, can I do this? And it's like he's there going, tell us you can because there's not only him, there's a few others up there and he's showing me there's something in the lineage so I don't know whether you're aware of the, the psychic side being handed down to you. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like he's showing me it's, it's in the gene. So it's like you were born to do this so I have to say, it is about you stepping into it and don't be scared about that. Okay. Okay, because it's you've got it. Um, you've also been, there's opportunities, there's something around, let me see, something around a broadcasting or something. I wanted to sort of go towards TV, but I'm not sure that that's necessarily the, the opportunity around right now, but I feel like that's something that he's showing me is coming up in the future. I don't know. Okay, so this will be this will be with you stepping into doing this. Um, he's also saying, are you looking after somebody at the moment? Yes. Yeah, because yeah, it's like I feel like that's a bit of a hold. He's just acknowledging that you're doing a good job, but you still have to look after you. So it's like you have to make time for this because it's your sole purpose, and it's it's where you 
uh, get that sense of fun and, and it's something that you do. I want to say because he's, he's quite, he's got a bit of personality, your dad. Is it? Is there a reference to an R name or a, I want to go, um, oh, what the, I felt like I wanted to go Roger, but it, it's not him, him being Roger. There's somebody around him or something around the, the, that name. There's a Russell. Okay, okay, because I'm like going, it didn't sound Australian in the way that, <laughs> and Roger's a bit of an Australian name, but um, so is that an uncle? Is that one of his brothers? No. Russell? Okay. No. Um, where's, all right, so but Russell's in spirit, yeah? Yeah. Yes, cool. Um, so how is he connected to you? Because he's like he's showing me, did, did he pass? Suddenly, like I feel like there's something where he's showing me he was here and, and now he's not. This is going to Russell. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a little girl around. Is there a, is there a girl that's still, still, um, uh, did he leave a, a, either a child or, or somebody where there's a reference to a little girl? She's not little. Okay. So was it, was this his daughter? Yeah. Okay, because I feel like he's just, he's jumped in to come through to give a message to his daughter. So has there been something around her at the moment? Because I feel like he's saying, my little girl, it's like he's protecting my little girl. So I don't know whether she's been going through a bit of a hard time, but it's like he wants me to talk about his little girl. I don't know. Okay, Do do you get in contact with her? Yes. Okay, just, uh, well, I want you to say he's saying he, he's stepping in around her. So I feel like there's an element of he's protecting her or he just wants um, to get that message through to her that he is around her. Because I, I just feel like okay. there's been something around her that's a little bit up and down. So it's like he's just jumped in to, to, to pass that message on. So please um, pass that on to her and say he gives her the sign. So I almost feel like maybe she's not as open to this as what, say, I mean, you, you obviously are, but... It's like uh, he wants to, her to know he is around her. And there's also an apology there. So it's like he said sorry. Okay. Okay. So I feel like she'll know exactly what that is because that's like he's jumping in for that. Now, getting back okay. to your father, um, where's the movement also for you? So are you moving house or considering moving where you are? No. Okay, there's something around movement he's showing me. Is this to do with work then? Are you, are you it's like he's showing me you're moving. <laughs> no, I'm on a journey right now. Okay, okay. yeah. So we'll just, he's mentioned movement. So it's not specific on what that is, but that might be something that transpires. Um, with your journey at the moment, is this around health as well? Around health, no. No, not for you, but like, is there an element, are you working around health or to do with healing? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so it's like he's saying something around that. There's an element that when you, well, you've just said that you're on a journey, but it's like this. there's an offshoot to where you are at the moment that you're going to go. So I feel like you might have a track in mind, but there's, he's showing me there's something, something else you're going to, it's going to appeal to you just off the track of what you're on right now. But I feel like you've got you've had this in your mind and it's like it's something he's just referencing, but I feel like you, you will understand what that is. Yeah. So it's still part of the journey. It's like it's still the big picture, but it's something around just, I want to say, a diversion. Okay. But he's also coming back to your commitment because I keep getting the word commitment. Okay. Okay. So it's almost like we need you to commit to this and go, this is what I'm born to do and I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay. So trust that he's with you. Your dad is, is definitely strongly around you. And as you know, you can sense him. Um, there is a few of them up there. I could take a fair part of the day to actually connect with, <laughs> you know, your, your, and I want to say your spiritual guidance team, they're pretty amazing. And, you know, you have a great connection with them. All right, because your dad's showing me he's only one part of the big picture. He's like, I'm over here. 
<laughs> I'm here and there's all these others here. So trust in the signs and I feel like you've been you've been getting the signs but maybe been a bit busy or distracted to actually not fully grab onto them as they're coming along because it's like you're guided. But And there's also two opportunities. So I feel like if they're not there yet in the next sort of six weeks, there's going to be some opportunities that come out of the woodwork, I have to say. Okay. All right. So just be prepared for that. And, and I want you to a little bit embrace the, yes, I'll, I'm going to do that because it feels right. Because you know what feels right for you. You don't need someone to tell you. Um, you've got a great um, a great connection with your inner guidance, but it's also about sometimes quieting the mind enough to get that, get those signs and go, yeah, I understand them. Okay. Okay. So trust and, and all will be revealed. I also want to say to you that before Christmas, you will get your answers. He's telling me. <laughs> Good. Okay. So, so okay. just follow that faith. This, the thing's going to turn around before Christmas and it will be clear. He's showing me crystal clear, I want to say. Okay. All right. If you have any other questions, Jessica, just inbox me via my Facebook page, Australia Psychic Cowgirl. I've got to go on to my next call now, but please um, don't hesitate to contact me if you've got some other info. I'd love to see you stepping into your power and sh- sharing your info with me as well so I can share it on my I page. Will. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks, Jess. I really Bye. have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Okay. You too. Okay, I've got Catherine in Alberta, Canada. Catherine, how are you? Woo-hoo. Let me see. No, okay. Catherine's around somewhere. <laughs> That's all right. I was taking my time. Um, also remember that on the live feed, unfortunately, we don't get to see you or get see your comments. So it's really important to share the um, to share the the link for the psychic radio so that you can get an opportunity to get on. There's some amazing psychics and mediums that we share, have on the channels, and uh, you know you pretty much by doing that, then you go into the the draw. Well, no, you go into the the list for getting a reading. So we do love to connect with you all live, and. We try and get to as many of you as we can. Um, understand what does get really inundated and Connie is amazing in the, the job that she does in getting everyone connected and uh, trying to get through as many reads as we can. So um, we love to connect with you. Not sure what's happened with Catherine um, from Canada, but again, my page, Australia Psychic Cowgirl, you're welcome to uh, message me and I can you know, answer any questions or I can just connect for you and, um, and you know, help you out. Like, I love doing that. So through the radio show, I've been able to connect with so many of you. It's been amazing and your support is unreal. And I have to say, uh, I really appreciate it because from coming here in Australia, it's, um, it's great to be able to connect with you guys. All right. So we've got Ashley in Orlando, Florida. Hey, there. Hey, Ashley. How are you? Hi. I'm doing good. You've got the cutest voice. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ashley, would you like me to connect or did you have anything specific you wanted to ask? Um, you know, I've, I've had um, a, a pretty um, up and down last year, year and a half. Um, I got divorced, um, then met somebody who I've been on and off with um, for um, almost a year, um, and we were going to um, take a trip in a couple weeks, and we were going to get married, and that all ended yesterday. Um, Okay. And I, I... I don't know if I should really, if I should just kind of close that door and just move on and, um, or, um, if what I'm feeling for him is something that I just need to, 
to really try harder with. Yeah. There is that element with him almost like I want to say there's that energy of a little bit of rebounding. So it's like he was very different to with your divorce and that separation. It's like this chap's come in and he's been, you, I, I suppose, uh, how can, I, I want to say like a breath of fresh air. So there was that really strong connection for you. But it's almost like you haven't had time to be able to regroup and really get clear in your mind, even though you were prepared to, to step back in the ring and get married again. It's almost like you need a little bit more time. Mm-hmm. It's, this is to do with the timing. I don't feel like it's totally cut off from him. now. But they are showing me spirits coming through. There were signs with this one. That it's almost like you had signs that showed you that things weren't quite right leading up to this decision of it not happening. Yeah. Yeah, there, there okay. has there, been um, a lot of red flags. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's also, I, I want to say, because they're showing me to do with ultimatums. So whether you gave him ultimatums and he didn't he didn't step up, because it's, it's like they're showing me he, he, you ha- gave him the opportunity to step up, but each time he would nearly get there but then just fall back away again and it's almost like I want to say he didn't want to try hard enough to fight for you in this relationship yeah yeah that's pretty spot on yeah yeah so they're showing me and I want to say because you've been you know you you've you've I want to pat you on the back for for the divorce because I feel like that was like man was that a long thing to go through and to really stay in your power you did amazingly and I just feel you've got so much to offer I don't want to see you settle for someone who isn't up to to 100% who you want and I I do feel like this one as much as a lovely guy um, you you don't want to be in that situation again where you're with somebody that's not not 100% behind you and I feel like there's that element to this last one that wasn't 100% behind you. Lovely guy and everything, but I just feel like I want to say there's somebody else out there for you that's more in alignment. But they're also showing me you really need to not, do not compromise because you deserve to have that that perfect partner. And when I say perfect, it doesn't mean everything's rosy all the time, but you deserve to be well supported because you've got things to do in this lifetime and you haven't done them yet. Mm-hmm. So this is yeah. about that person that's going to help you move forward with what you need to be doing because it's it's almost like it's your time. You've you've gone through what you needed, like you've, you've learned the lessons. It's almost like I want to say as hard as that sounds prior to in that relationship where you have done the divorce, you learnt many lessons there and you don't need to learn anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it's like, you know, you don't want to be in that situation where it's almost like I want to say the spirit is showing me you step back to help them step forward, but the, the ideal male for you is the one that's behind you pushing you forward. Yeah. Because you've got yeah, some great ideas. And you, lack of yeah. yeah. And you've got great ideas and you're very powerful and we need that utilised. Okay. And it's like they're saying they're saying to me, the world needs what you've got, so we need to see you shining, not not um, not wash. Uh, how do you call it? Not um, diluting you. We we don't want you diluted. We want you in full strength of, of who you are. Now, is there children around? Uh, yeah, who's got I, the children? I four. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, I was thinking two. So have you got two of each? Um, I yeah, do. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, cause, yeah, yeah, cool. Um, there's also, because they're showing me this is a great move for them as well. So it's like uh, it's about your happiness first and when that's when you're happy, they are happy. And they're pretty adaptable kids, I have to say. They are. They are wonderful kids. Yeah. Yeah, there's one of them there. I want to say one, one of the, I feel like I want to go to one of the boys is a tough nut, and he's amazing. Like, really, for his age, and he's just I don't know. I feel like he's he's the one with the wisdom and and the power. There's something really powerful around him. 
Yes, he's he's very very much a very old soul. Um, yeah, yeah. He's able to kind of step he's back make, and look at things as, as a whole. He's going to make his mark. They're showing me like there's there's a lot to do around him, but it is around you. Because you can juggle a lot of things. I even feel like I want to say with all those children, you will still be able to do what you need to do. But you don't need a man, mm-hmm. I want to say also. So don't feel like you need to have somebody there to support you. You can do this. And it's about choosing to for someone to come along with you, not feeling you need someone that, that is going to hold you up because you don't. Okay. And I also have to right. um, refer to this they're showing me that you've looked back at what, from where you've come to where you are now, you've done really well, as well as having all those children. So pat yourself yeah, on the back. I, I, well, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, like really do. But this is about you, number one. So we need you honouring yourself, nurturing yourself and knowing that the, the rest of the, the partnership, there will be somebody that will step in but we want them equal, not you've already got four children, you don't need five. Exactly. <laughs> okay. well, thank you so All right, much. I, have to, I have to go. I've run out of time. Thank you so much for ringing, Ashley. It's been great to connect with All you. Right. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, guys, that's a wrap for me today. Thank you so much coming at you from Australia. I really appreciate you all tuning in. Thank you. Same time, same place next week. Yeehaw!